Eyes on the prize, eh? Don't forget we're trying to locate Manfred Grail's house. Okay, so I've landed in Victorian England. What are we looking for? We need something to open that gate. It looks like it's rusted shut. Hmm, convenient. Whoa. I've heard stories about the Cyber Reaper. Ghost stories. Legends. Warnings. Cyber... It never stops upgrading itself. Using parts from other Cybermen. It is literally the best of the best. Or should that be the worst of the worst? circle because I've just come out of those gates. You know what? I think it's around here somewhere. Ooh, there's a house lit up. Something tells me Great it's Great news! There. We found it! Nope, okay. Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objet d'art. Posh way of saying he's a hoarder when it comes to knickknacks. Nope, it's gone dark. Gizmos in here. Check out that old cylinder phonograph by the window. So that A goes perfect in. fit. Wind it up and let's see if it still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objet d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. Does that surprise you? It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. Many times. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Greel and the crystal within. You've done well to get this far, mon camarade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful. And so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you were to reach the game, you must be. Oh. Oh, what's happening? But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must be. That's what? That's what? Uh oh. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts below my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. Your prize. <laughs> but every prize must have its perils. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. Hmm. That warning, I promised you. The cabinet is guarded by my angels. Although I suspect that since the changes, they may no longer be my angels. Uh -oh. I fear they are coming. And will destroy.
destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning. Whatever you do, don't... No. No. No! Manfred dead now. Manfred big fat boy. But Angel's still hungry. Angel's still hungry. Angel's feast on you. Yeah, that doesn't Angels sound good. Angel's feast on you. Angel's eat you. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Try baby bunting. Doctor's friends have gone a hunting. Want to fetch the precious stones. But the angels eat your bones. You know what the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favour. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. Okie dokie. I wonder if there might be something helpful which isn't here yet. Mm. Well, I can tell the lights are on. It's a lot tidier than it was. Mm. Hey, check out the cylinder phonograph. Try winding it up. Oh no, I don't want to go back there. Huge painting above the fireplace. It's yuck. Bugs. Okay. Oh, so they, so they must match what's on here. One, two, three, and four. So I've got number three. Let's see if there are any other of those books. Oh, can I go back? Oh, yep. Okay, so I've got one from there. Let's have another look around. Uh, Ooh, Some there's... of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. Uh, ah, one, two. So I'm guessing there's four. Ah. Now what? I'm just getting more and more of these pages. Uh, what? Ooh. Do I have to burn them? Okay, um, let me just go and check their order. Because I know the painting said one, two, three, and four. I don't know if I have to do that. Through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire. Okay. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? They could be. One, two, three. Okay. Um. Let's spin around. Try again. Yes. Okay. So. Let's make sure I've got the right ones. I hate to ask, but you may need to start burning some of these books. Whoa! Look at that flame! I think we're on the right track. Was it... Oh, I can't remember what the next one was. Let me go back and check. My memory's terrible. Okay, so it's leaf, straight maggot, curly maggot, butterfly. Okay. Straight maggot, curly maggot, straight maggot, curly maggot. Okay. Maybe the books need to be burnt in a certain order. Okay. And the next one. Curly maggot. Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. Whoa. I did not expect that. Let's follow it. OK, 
Okay. Hello, pretty firefly. Free me! Use the flames! I don't think I want to free what you. A creepy painting. Use the flames. From the fire? Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, candle. Let's try that. Then. Who would put candle holders next to an oil painting? That's literally asking for flame in trouble. Hmm. Need two more. Two more flames. Is there any in the other one? Maybe we should find candles to place into the holders. If movies have taught me anything, so you should never wander around creepy old houses on your own. Especially ones that make you time travel. Nope, okay. Literally asking for flame in trouble. Hmm, it's not letting me interact with the door. Let me try something. Hmm. Don't want to go through all this and then tell me the game's broken. There's none in the other world, and there's none in this world. Maybe we should find candles to place into the holders. That's what I'm looking for. If movies have taught me anything, it's that you should never wander around creepy old houses on your own. I wonder if this is broken. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, a bow tie. Uh, drop it. Okay. Who would put candle holders next to an oil painting? Let me just That's try That's literally once asking for flame in trouble. Oh, she's gone. Did that painting just move? Set me free. Flames are key. Oh, that sent a shiver down my spine. I didn't like it. There's a I'm candle. I'm thinking we listen to the demon painting before she gets annoyed. Bring me home into the light. Oh, this 3D audio is horrible at the same time. That door. Someone just opened it. Here we go. Maybe place into the holders. If movies have taught me anything, it's that you should never wander around creepy old houses on your own. Okay, do not. That really blink. was not nice at all. A key. Wait a second. The insignia matches the lock on the base of that phonograph. Okay. I guess we're getting enough. How about you leave me in the TARDIS for this one? Well, that was horrifying. And 
this is even worse. Torch would be useful. Black light setting. Obvs. You've got to get the crystal from the time cabinet, which will mean avoiding the angels. I can then try to contact the doctor using the crystal's special properties. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialize down here. Hey, you can do this. Okay. So I just guess we follow the curved tracks. And that's what I intend to do. According to the TARDIS database, Weeping Angels have a unique self-defense mechanism. Long story short, keep them in sight and we should be okay. Oh, she's a moving. She's a moving. And so am I. Look out for those angels. In fact, don't blink. Don't take your eyes off them. Oh, this is horrible. I can hear stone moving. I just don't know where they are. What is this parcel tongue I'm hearing? Okay, so that's why the weeping angel in the painting gave us the key. It wasn't oh. helping us. It wanted us down here, so we'd have to face these angels. Note up. No, thank you. It's horrifying and I don't like it one bit. You better oh. get a move on. I can sense things moving around in the crypt. Let's find the time cabinet and get out of here. Ah oh, yes, please. I do not want to spend my time in here. Same trespass. Uh. It's the time crystal. Grab it before the angels decide you're a threat. It just got really cold in here. We're not alone. Ooh, hello. Now it's a party. Please tell me you're all staring at each other. Oh, thank you, Mercy. The TARDIS has landed. Hectic back there. We make quite a good team, don't we? What took you so long? While you've been sightseeing and taking it easy, I've been doing the donkey work and finding out what's behind the reality virus. First things first, though, I can detect a force is trying to fix us in a tractor beam. I'm not having that. I'm going to remote pilot the TARDIS away from Earth. Back in a tick. And you might want to find something to hang on to. Okay, pull the activation lever and let's go. Nicely done. We've landed on. Let me see. Metabilis four. Ah well. It's better than Metabilis 3, but nowhere near as good as Metabilis 1 or 2. They were great. I told you I've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus. 
Well, now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me, I think you deserve to know the truth. Emma, maybe you can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Right then. Billions of millennia ago, when the universe was fragile and new, planets formed and stars began to burn. And at some point, no one really knows when, the very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. Or maybe I should say, she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became vast galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. And that first sentient being, let's call her the first, while well, she slept for billions of years. But as the prototype for all consciousness, the first had design faults teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. Their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations. To eradicate all sentient life, to return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons. To atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but now, I believe, she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell-bent upon. She's nurturing conflict and chaos and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. She's not a god, and she's not evil. She wants redemption. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. And we, well, we have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up against. We're close, though. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best. I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS has sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful!